Hi, welcome to Workplace Wizards. I just want to quickly go over this uh, new spreadsheet that we uh, created for you. It's called the Food and Paper Inventory Spreadsheet System. By the way, my name is Mr. Shim, and uh, I am a restaurant consultant here in Pennsylvania. Uh, we do create uh, uh, spreadsheets, uh, restaurant forms, and checklists. So you're more than welcome to uh, go to my website. Uh, that's WorkplaceWizards.com. Uh, and that's W-O-R-K-P-L-A-C-E-W-I-Z-A-R-D-S. All right, so let me just quickly go over this real quick. Uh, we have a instructions tab uh, located on this home page. Uh, most uh, spreadsheets will allow you to access the system through your bottom area here. We have all these uh, tabs here. I've eliminated that and created a home page. All right, so up here it's a lot so it's easier to access everything that you need to do with this workbook from this one location. All right, so we have uh, instructions in creating and saving, uh, which is here. So if you want to learn how to uh, save, create, uh, offer a master sheet uh, that, we meet, we, that we email you, uh, this is where you go. So when you purchase the system, uh, it is going to be the master. So once you receive it, uh, keep it up on your desktop, and every time you create, a new sheet, uh, for instance, you'll create your very first one off that master. All right. And also, just so you know, the master sheet is where you're going to enter all your product information from for both food and paper. So as you can see right now, this is a master sheet that we're on. Uh, you have your daily sales instructions here. It basically tells you exactly uh, what each area in the daily sales is in detail. Um, if you go to your ship one, ship two, ship three. Uh, that's for basically restaurants that have three shifts. If you only have two shifts, A and PM, use uh, one and two. Uh, you got your daily sales at a glance. So anything that you enter in any one of these areas right here is going to automatically go to this sheet right here. And it's an at a glance. So if you look at shift one, there's shift two, shift three, and your your uh, month and date is actually going to be on the last last column to the right. So your shift one right here. Uh, you got your week two, and if you keep going for ship one, uh, week three, ship one, week four, ship one, then all we right here would be week four, ship three. So it, all these figures automatically populate from uh, your areas within the ship one, ship two, ship three. So this is not for you to enter information. This is just for at, at a glance. All right, so let's go to ship one real quick, and let's talk about this. You got your ship one, week one. You got ship two, week one. Or shift one, uh, just keep scrolling. Uh, week three, shift one, week four, shift one, week five, shift one. I created a fifth week just in case you have to dip into it. Uh, there will be some months you may have to. All right, and if you go downward uh, again, you're going to see shift one right there. Uh, so all you're going to do is you're going to enter information into this area uh, as, as you see it. All your sales Monday through Sunday are going to go here as you enter the information in. It's going to have your week to date totals here and your week to date percentage. All right. So, this area right here are your sales. Uh, all you need to go is you go into your format, unprotected page, and if you want to relabel these areas, go ahead and relabel them. Um, if it's just food that you want to track, just keep food in there. Uh, all right. So, let's just protect. There we go. Uh, you got your food, you got your sales tax. Just so you know, all you need to do is put your sales tax in here. If it's 6%, put 6 And then as you're putting in your sales, um, it's automatically going to put in your 6% automatically. So this is an area that you don't want to mess with. Uh, we'll delete that off, fill out your sales. Anything that's in white, the white sheeting cells are going to be for input only. Anything that's colored, uh, that's going to be protected and it's going to contain formulas. All right, so the white area again, you got to just get sold in other. Uh, your payouts and losses, all this is white, with the exception of your weekly totals uh, for the dollars and your percentage. Uh, you got your Visa card, you got your credit cards, of course it's white, input only. Over shortage is colored, so you don't want to mess with that. Uh, this, these figures will uh, put in here based on what you had put above. It'll tell you exactly if you're over shortage for the day. Uh, customer count, you put your customer count in, and then of course, uh, this is all unprotected here. The bottom part right here is colored, so that's going to be protected. Uh, that figure will populate based on your customer count and your sales. 
Uh, all right, so that's going to how it's going to be throughout the whole system for your uh, your, your, your your daily shift uh, information in daily sales. So, so you can't really figure out a food cost if you don't have your sales in there. All right, we have a vendor information here. Uh, again, self-explanatory. Uh, week one. And it says week one. It's all back down right here. Vendor. So as you're getting your vendor slips, uh, make sure you tell your your, your, your vendor uh, that you want to break down based on what you're looking for, and they can filter it that way. Uh, produce need. And I did this this way so that way uh, it's easier to find where the problem is. So if you do your inventory and it's off, uh, you go right to the problem, and rather than trying to pick your brain and figure out where is my inventory storage coming from. I've got all this stuff. I have no idea where it is. So at least this way you can kind of pinpoint it down to the department. All right, so uh, you got your produce, you got your meat. All you do is you put your invoice, your supplier, Cisco, invoice date, whatever it is. If you have a credit, you put it in, put the invoice amount in. If the invoice amount is 10 and the credit is 5, uh, if, they, if they give you credit right away, then your, your invoice total is going to be 5 bucks. It's going to adjust it. All right. Um, if you scroll all the way down, it has uh, department totals right here. So as you're putting it in, it's automatically going to pop it up right down here. All right, so you won't have, uh, this isn't for you to put any information in, but the comment section is. If you find something, you can put it in. Um, so whatever you put above for the whole day uh, is automatically going to come down here. This is easier for you to view as to where the problem's coming from because of all this right here. All right, so, and again, you got week one, and then over to your right here, you got week two, week three, week four, and then week five if you need it. All right, the dates automatically are going to be put in here. Uh, let's just do this real quick. Um, Okay, so see where it says James Restaurant? So if you want to change that, uh, which we're going to go ahead and do right now, just remember every time we're going to protect the page, we've got to protect it. We're going to go to Food Inventory Week 1. Week 1 and somewhere in here, I'm going to go to All right, well, anyway, uh, department totals, again, this is a breakdown of everything you got right here for week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. Uh, uh, and the credit, the vendor dollars, and the invoice grant total percentage, week to date grant total, week to date uh, percentage, and then the comment area right here. All right, so we have food inventory instructions right here, so just a lot of good information. Uh, when Rhea tells you how to do the system, uh, the print sheet right here. Uh, let's just go back here to start with week one. Week one is the product uh, sheet that you're going to start with. Uh, it's your setup page. So basically, unprotect the page, uh, unprotect it, and then you're going to come over here and put your product number, product name, package, and the product price, whatever the price might be. And, and that would be for produce only. And then you have an area here for your meat, an area for your poultry, uh, seafood, vegetable, uh, french fries, appetizer, uh, eggs, bakery, you know what? Spend a little time organizing all your rooms based off this sheet. So the very first thing that you're looking at right here, the very first item that you're walking in on the right hand side, top shelf, it might be that way. Organize everything. All right, so that way you have a better idea of where everything's at and you'll have a much more uh, accurate 
food cost. And then after you do maybe a month or two worth of inventory, you can bring your levels down and you're going to be good as long as you keep it up. But if you're disorganized and you're not doing any sort of an inventory, you're losing money. The question is how much money you're losing. All right, so again, set up the page with all this information all the way down to the last one. You're going to protect it. And then what you're going to do is this is your input area. So we're going to go back here and you're going to go back to your count sheet. So whatever you enter in on your week one is automatically going to populate here. And it's automatically going to populate over to week two, three, four, and five sheets as well. So all you have to do is just enter it in in week one, and it's automatically going to be inputted everywhere else. All right, so you print the sheet out, uh, put the date, put the week, and then you take a pencil, and you need a pencil, so in case there's an error, you can erase it, put the right figure in, and clipboard, walk around, do your inventory. Now, if this doesn't work for you right up here, then unprotect the page and relabel it the way you want to relabel it. Just remember, uh, just remember that when you do this, you're going to go back to home and you're done and you got all the numbers in here. You're going to go to your week one through input and you're going to input all the information of your whole counts into these areas. So, whatever in your walk in freezer, prep, kitchen, dry storage, whatever, put it in there. And then, of course, this is the colored area. This is going to be how many uh, uh, items were in there, and then your total dollar figure. And then it's going to automatically uh, calculate right down here. Same thing with your meat, same, etc. So, you got all the good information, so we'll definitely use it. Uh, let's go back to home. Uh, I have a. Uh, for inventory percentages based on inventory for the first week put the information here for inventory numbers and then you put your projected food cost information here once you have this information and you do your first inventory you're going to have an actual food cost percentage and then whatever you put here is going to be a difference so this is your goal this is where you want it to be at all right so you have week one two three four five you have a month to date and then on the right hand side you got your paper one, two, three, four, five, and then bump the date. All right, so let's go ahead and go back. You got a uh, menu pricing information. To learn how to do menu pricing, just read it. Uh, it's important because uh, vendors' uh, prices do go up time to time. You need to know what to do and how to price out your menu. Uh, we got a food costing tool. Here's your instructions on how to use the information. And this is the actual food cost tool itself, right here. Information right now, how to use it. Uh, and this is the same thing as your paper. So just remember, you can enter your information on the paper side. Right here is where you're going to enter it for page, uh, week one of your paper. And once you enter it in here, it's going to automatically populate to two, three, four, five. Then all you have to do is you go to your count sheet. And you go to your count sheet right here and you're going to uh, print it out so week one is where you're going to put the information into a particular page put it in and then go back and, and once you're done with your inventory after you print out this you got all the information in your, your sheet all your numbers you go back to number one and put all your numbers here and as you do that it's going to total up for you and then these secrets are going to automatically populate to your percentage page all right, so I think we, uh, we're all set. Uh, I do apologize for the lengthy of this video, but it is something we need to go over. It's very important that your restaurants uh, do some sort of inventory so you see where you stand on, on losses because it's not going to be a positive. It's going to be a loss. The question is how much money uh, you're going to lose. Uh, certainly, if you do this, uh, you'll be able to detect problems and reduce your food losses, and the end result, uh, recoup some of your money. All right, so you can contact me at workplacewizards at gmail.com, uh, or you can call me directly at 800-753-0657 or 717-774-3698. Don't forget to visit Workplace Wizards at workplacewizards.com for more information. Have a great day, folks.